Welcome to WX Observations review of the new Ambient Weather WS2000 home weather station. We're excited to share some of its new features, what actual users like and dislike about it, as well as our thoughts. For a more comprehensive review on this and many other commercially available weather station models, please visit us at wxobservation.com. There's a link in the notes below. Okay, so let's get started. The sensor array used in the WS2000 has been around in previous ambient weather models, including on the very popular WS2902 weather station. The great part about this proven station is the number of sensors packed into it. It includes sensors for measuring temperature, humidity, wind speed and direction, rainfall, solar radiation, and UV index. The feature that sets the WS2000 apart from previous ambient weather models is the display. This time they've opted to do a large tablet style LCD display. It's high definition and looks great, leaps and bounds better than the previous WS2902 display. It can be set up with a light or dark background so it can be easily seen day or night. There's an SD card slot for long-term data storage and the display can sit either on a table or desk or be mounted on the wall. The WS2000 utilizes wireless technology, transmitting up to 300 feet on the 915 MHz frequency, although in real-world conditions, most consumers get closer to 100 feet. When it comes to connecting your weather station to the cloud or your smart home, ambient weather is second to none. You can upload your weather data to Ambient's own weather network called ambientweather.net, but this is also one of the easiest weather stations for connecting to weather underground, and no additional hardware is needed to make that happen. Additionally, most of Ambient's latest models, including the WS2000 weather station, are smart home compatible. In addition to Google Assistant and Amazon's Alexa, you can also set up if this, then that statements. So for example, if you're on the same network, you could have your powered blinds close when the outside temperature gets above 90 degrees. Another great feature of the Ambient weather WS2000 is that it uses solar energy for its primary power source. It does use a battery backup system, but it typically charges a supercapacitor to store energy and does not consume the batteries. For this reason, the backup batteries should last a couple of years before needing to be replaced, which is a good thing since most weather stations should be mounted high enough that they are not easily accessible. Several of the WS2000's competitors utilize battery power, but we much prefer the solar power technology. Unfortunately, the display is powered by an AC wall adapter and does not have a battery backup, so it must remain plugged in at all times for viewing. Listed here are the range, accuracy, and resolution of the sensors on the WS2000 pulled directly from the user manual. As you can see, it covers most environments and has great resolution. The accuracy is kind of middle of the road, but in line with what we'd expect at this price point. Professional weather stations can be more accurate than the WS2000, but you pay more to gain those features. When it comes to mounting, no full-on solution is included. However, Ambient does provide a U-bolt kit. It allows for mounting to one to two inch diameter poles. Ambient actually makes several commercially available mounts for both their home weather stations as well as those from other brands. I've placed a few links in the notes below so you can learn more about those if you choose. There's a lot to love with this home weather station. Actual consumers have commented on its ease of use, expandability, and its simplistic design. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is that the indoor sensors are expandable. You can add up to eight additional indoor sensors for recording temperature, humidity, and pressure throughout your home. The one drawback consumers note about this weather station is that there's no battery backup in the display, which would allow it to operate during power loss. So what do we think? We like the new tablet style display and the amount of sensors included, seven outdoor and three indoor. It's simple to set up and the outdoor sensors are completely solar powered, which is our favorite feature. For these reasons and others, WX Observation thinks the ambient weather WS2000 is one of the best home weather stations available today. If you agree, you can find a link in the notes below to purchase your very own WS2000. Thanks for watching.